Welcome back. While the weather is nice outside, many are headed to the domain and other outdoor shopping centers to spend a little bit of cash. But sometimes the summer fun can put a beating on your financial future. Joining me now to explain more is Val Majewski. He's from American Benefits Exchange with some ways to guard against these summer money mistakes. Good morning, Val. Good morning, Val. Gigi. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we're, we're talking a little bit, and I was saying, you know, I, I can get spending a lot in the winter, especially around the holidays. Yes. But people are doing it when the heat and humidity hits us because we're like, we got to get out. Well, the, many Americans in the summer are going on spending sprees. So okay. they, these summer months make it more tempting to do that. What's uh, happening? Why are, well, they, why are they doing this? Recent studies showed that 74% of people admit to going into debt just to go on vacation. Wow. So this extra spending, this extra debt could throw your budget off track and, and be a real strain on your finances. And if you're going to, I guess, take out money or take out a loan to go on a vacation, this is... This is a nice vacation. You're like on some beach someplace. Oh, it better be worth Probably, it, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? It better be worth it. <laughs> right. Hearing the, the water on the mm -hmm. sands with a nice drink in your hand, uh, this better be a good vacation. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. I would hope so. But the key is to get around this, right? To okay. Plan ahead, get a budget. So okay. budget, budget, budget. Oh, you're saying uh, the B word. We don't like <laughs> so, that. So summer's a time where most people are probably spending more money on these vacations or okay. weddings, uh, child care, um, other items. So having a budget is, is key. But when do you put that in place? Do you put that, how far out do you put that in? Is it the year before? Is it six months before? Well, what I can share a, a quick example. My wife and I decided to go on a trip for our 10-year anniversary. Okay. And we planned it for two years. Wow. To make sure we talked to the travel agent, had a budget, knew what the trip was going to cost us, and we set money incrementally aside you know, over that two-year period to make sure it was paid off by that time, so we didn't have to have a big credit card bill yeah. when we came back home. And you don't have to do this on your own. I mean, there are a lot of programs that allow you to say, okay, hey, put the sure. money away now, right? Well, planning ahead is, is part of the deal, too. So I talk to my clients all the time about planning, not just for the summers, but for their, their long-term future. Mm. So it's easy to look just in the short term to say, hey, I'm, this vacation coming up is going to be awesome with uh, neglecting where you're going to be in 5, 10, or even 25 years. So having that plan in place sooner than later is going to really help you out. Sidebar, I got to know where you went. That took two years to, to say. We went to Bora Bora. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving on. Okay, so here's, you said look for free activities. Right, so in the summer to save some money, to go along with your budget, you can look for things uh, you know, for your family outing or date night, uh, movies in the park, going to locations like the museum or the zoo, uh, at times can offer free admittance. Okay. You know, that can help out with your budget. And in the long term, this planning mm -hmm. will really help your budget out. Another thing you said, put the, the credit cards away. Well, it's easy, again, to, to charge all your summer expenses on your credit card. But if you don't intend on paying those things off immediately, uh -huh. it can take months, if not years, to pay that balance down. So it's it, easy advice. Be responsible with the credit cards uh -huh. and try, and okay. I say try, okay. to only put on there what you're intending to pay off. Uh, immediately. Okay, and then really quickly, you, I'd like this, 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 you said pay attention to details. Well, if we're not paying attention, all right, if, believe it or not, we can actually lose money by being too busy. Now, what do I mean by that? Yeah. In the summer months with travel and everything, um, you know, our routines can get thrown off, which can cause us to miss payments on our bills or credit cards. So make sure before you go out of town that the bills are taken care of or set up auto payments if available. And that way, these things are getting taken care of. One other, one other thing on that, too, is you can hold your mail okay. while you're away. Things like uh, your bank account information or other sensitive materials sit in our mailboxes mm -hmm. while we're away. We're targets. can leave us more vulnerable to fraud. Yeah, all right. Exactly. Val, thank you so much. Majeski. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> thank you. I got your name right. Thank you for that. We're not going to spend too much this summer. <laughs>